when I go around saying that um, I'm not an atheist uh, in the kind of discussion like I'm engaging in right now, the predictable thing happens. Uh, people who are self-identified theists or Christians or Muslims or whatever uh, come up to me and say, oh good, uh, you're ripe for conversion. <laughs> That's a mistake, um, and they're soon disabused of that. I simply offer the argument that um, just imagine that I'm a Martian who has landed on Earth here for the first time, and you're trying to convert me to this idea of there being a god. Um, let's say that my culture has never even attempted to tackle the idea of theism versus atheism. Okay, You have to tell me what it is you're talking about when you say god, when you have to get me to believe in something. Um, well, the discussion uh, inevitably results in uh, an admission of the inadequacy of actually describing everything there is to say about God. What is God? What do you mean by God? They inevitably you sort of say, well, you have to it's something you have to actually feel. And I don't really have a problem with that. I understand that the intuitive side is absolutely central to our character, but where uh, we run into trouble is um, where I sort of ask um, how do we cross-reference our intuitiveness with our personal intuitive intuitiveness with that of someone else let's say I'm a um, I'm a pious Muslim and I'm in Mecca and I'm doing that circle thing around the Kaaba waiting for my turn to kiss that uh, black uh, I think it's a meteor or something like that a piece of a meteor I'm and I'm surrounded by all these other Muslims how do I know that any of these people believe anything that even comes close to what I believe? If most of what I believe is intuitive, if my view of God relies heavily on my intuitive side, um, how can we even make a comparison between my intuitive belief in God and the next guy's intuitive belief in God, let alone the thousands of other pilgrims swirling around me? How do I know that any of these people believe anything that's even remotely resembling what I believe? I have no way of knowing that. I can't in the very nature of things know what they believe in terms of the intuitive side of their belief. So language is not capable of describing God. Okay. Um, reason isn't up to it either, but most religious people, most theists say, that, well, you have to have a lot of intuitive in there as well. Well, that's fine, but the intuitive is uh, much more difficult to actually um, put across to other people. Um, and it's much easier to misunderstand the intuitive because communicating the intuitive is nowhere near as, uh, as precise as, um, as, say, language is. And I already believe that language to be fundamentally inadequate for describing things. So how much more inaccurate must be our attempts to communicate with each other intuitively? So, um, <clears throat> so much for theism, I guess. So much for the colloquially religious, um, sort of faith-based view of God. Uh, we assume that everybody who shares our views actually does share our views, but we have no way of cross-checking any of that. It, it's just, again, that's another intuitive thing. If I'm a member of the uh, Seventh-day Adventists um, and I believe a certain way about God, um, I have no way of sort of accurately conveying to another Seventh-day Adventist my, the entirety of my conception of God. So I just have to assume that we uh, actually believe the same thing. I have no way of actually knowing that. Belief doesn't work like that. Now, that usually... Uh, does the trick with people who are attempting to communicate with me for the purposes of bringing me around to their point of view. Um, usually at that point they get frustrated or angry. Um, now, okay, but the problem is that works uh, the same way with someone who is trying to pigeonhole me into coming out, I guess, as an atheist. What is this God thing that you're trying to tell me that doesn't exist? Or that I'm not supposed to believe in? Why don't you just explain to me what belief actually is? Now, if anyone who wants to say that I'm quibbling over the meaning of God or belief, do you understand what's at stake here? 
It's nothing less than the fundamental nature of reality itself. <laughs> I don't think you can quibble over that issue. Um, it's not a little thing. It's not uh, <laughs> angels dancing on the head of a pin. It's what is the universe is encapsulated in that. <laughs> What not not just what does it all mean or where does it come from? What is it? I don't think it's possible to quibble on issues of that importance, I guess is the word, or that um, fundamental. People who think that you can just neatly box things into little categories are hopelessly simplifying a universe that doggedly refuses to be simplified or boxed. Thank you.